So there was a decision made in September of 2017 by the um, acting uh, DHS secretary at the time, um, Secretary Duke. And that decision essentially just terminated DACA without any rationale. Thereafter, in 2018, um, Secretary Nijin tried to add rationale to that um, and state exactly why, three more reasons why DACA was being rescinded. Uh, but essentially, the argument that won the day was that we can't have ad hoc rationalizations of why a program was going to be ended without the without sufficient um factors as to why the program should be end ended in the first place. So the so the um there there should have been rationale laid out as to why the program should have been entered um as to why the program should be ended and the um, DHS did not consider, for example, that there could be maybe a middle ground. Maybe the, the DACA recipients don't get affirmative benefits, such as an EAD, a driver's license, social security number, but maybe they could just have the deferred action where they're not actually deported. Um, there wasn't, nobody thought about the reliance interest. I mean, these people have had DACA since the program was announced in 2012, and nowhere in the rationale did they say, okay, well, we're going to consider what, that these people maybe have jobs, maybe have gone to school, and they're relying on the status that we created for them in 2012. And the rationales later on in 2018 that were articulated by a different DHS secretary, simply you can't um, you can't do that because the the other courts have already told the secretary Duke why her rationale was deficient, and then you can't right. afterwards try and make your rationale better when, when courts have already told you it's deficient.